I'm Nick, and in this video, we'll be talking about the probiotic Lactobacillus acidophilus and using it to treat a candida yeast infection. Now, probiotics like Lactobacillus acidophilus do a few key things to help keep the vaginal flora and even the intestinal flora regulated and healthy and free of pathogenic organism overgrowth. These things include attaching to the lining of the vagina and the intestines and colonizing these areas. This essentially keeps other harmful bacteria or fungi from attaching to the same places and colonizing those areas. Also, some lactobacilli can secrete hydrogen peroxide and lactic acid. This helps to keep these areas acidic and free of harmful pathogens. Also, some lactobacilli can secrete chemicals that are toxic to other unwanted bacteria. And finally, lactobacillus acidophilus will also start to eat up the excess food in the vagina and in the intestines, leaving less food for the yeast to consume and subsequently overgrow. So let's take a look at some of the research about Lactobacillus acidophilus and its use against candida. A 2002 study published in the Journal of Clinical Microbiology said that Lactobacillus bacteria normally dominate microflora of a healthy woman's vagina. So this means that a healthy vagina will primarily have lactobacillus bacteria living in it. And species within the lactobacillus acidophilus complex are generally considered to comprise most of these lactobacilli in the human vagina. The study also states that Probiotic lactobacillus play a key role in keeping the urogenital system, which is the organs involving the urinary system and the genitals, free from infection. So we can see that lactobacillus acidophilus and other probiotic lactobacilli are key to have in your vagina. A 1992 study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine looked at the effect of women eating yogurt that contained live acidophilus cultures. The study used women who had not been previously eating 16 ounces of yogurt or more on a weekly basis. The women in the study were divided into two groups. In the first group, Women did not eat yogurt for an extended period of time, and then they switched gears and began eating yogurt. In the second group, women ate yogurt initially, and then after a period of time, they stopped eating the yogurt. The study found that the women who ate the yogurt with the live lactobacillus acidophilus cultures reduced the occurrence of yeast infections by about three times. A 2005 study published in Infectious Diseases in Obstetrics and Gynecology looked at the effects of lactobacillus bacteria, including lactobacillus acidophilus, on candida albicans in a petri dish. So it was an in vitro or in glass study. The study found that lactobacillus acidophilus strains always totally inhibited the growth of candida in the petri dish where this probiotic was placed. And a few of the lactobacillus acidophilus strains even stopped growth beyond the area where this bacteria was placed in the petri dish. So the study shows that in vitro, the presence of lactobacillus acidophilus can inhibit and stop the growth of the pathogenic opportunistic yeast candida albicans. 
Therefore, we can conclude from the research that using the probiotic lactobacillus acidophilus is a great choice in treating yeast infections. So, how do you go about using lactobacillus acidophilus? Well, you need to use actual live cultures of this probiotic bacteria. Now, one easy way to do it is to look for a good probiotic pill that contains live cultures of lactobacillus acidophilus. And it's probably a wise idea to see that other lactobacillus species are also included in the probiotic. Now, another option is to eat yogurt with lactobacillus acidophilus. But you have to remember, pasteurized yogurt may not work at all because pasteurization kills the bacteria in yogurt. So if you think that you can go to the store, buy some yogurt, and it's going to help out the bacteria situation in your digestive system or vagina, you have to remember that yogurt has been pasteurized and likely contains little to no actual live bacteria. Therefore, you need to find yogurt with actual live lactobacillus acidophilus cultures. And you can always make your own yogurt and get some probiotic pills with a lactobacillus acidophilus strain and simply add the pill to the milk while you make the yogurt. And in time, as the yogurt ferments and firms up, that bacteria will begin to multiply and you'll have yogurt full of acidophilus. So once you have your probiotic, simply ingest the pill or the yogurt or whatever food you're using on a daily basis. And you may also want to directly insert the acidophilus into the vagina. Doing both ways simultaneously may help to quicken the pace this probiotic colonizes the urogenital system. Well, for more information on this topic, you can check out the extensive article on Candida Hub. The link, of course, is just below in the description. And there you can find more research and links to the studies used to create this video and the information on that page. And while you're there, you can find out about an all-natural 12-hour solution for yeast infections that will get rid of an oral or genital yeast infection in just 12 hours time. And it will stop even stubborn recurrent yeast infections from ever coming back again. So this could help save you a lot of money on candida fighting products and diets. So if you have some time, you may want to come by and check it out. Okay, hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video answered your questions and I hope you get better very soon. I'll see you later.